What up you guys, Gabe here at the course. Now you'd probably like to ask me, Gabe, why are you drinking a smoothie? And then I'd ask you, how'd you know I was drinking a smoothie if I never showed it to you? Then you'd probably say, cause I'm psychic. And to that I would say, that's friggin' cool. But I'll tell you why I'm drinking a smoothie, cause I love smoothies. I'm addicted to smoothies. I love them, the way they taste, the texture, everything. As you can see, I'm drinking a nice little classic strawberry banana smoothie. It turns out some people are addicted to cats, some people are addicted to smoothies, and it so happens I'm addicted to both. Let me show you what I mean. As you can see, the wallpaper on my phone is a little kitten licking its lips, okay? Love cats, love smoothies. I even love getting groovy, and I love even watching movies. And that brings me to my next point. I will be watching Harry Potter IMAX 3D, $17. Okay, you people, this is gonna be the war of the century. 17 bucks is a little expensive, but I have money in the bank, okay? How much money in the bank? Approximately $17. The exact amount of money I need to watch this movie. And I'm gonna watch it, because it's the last Harry Potter movie, the war of the century. Anyways, I'm gonna go get some balls, do some practice, and show you guys what I'm working on. You know the usual, okay? Working on a lot of stuff in my swing, and I'll try to talk you through it, walk you through it, and bring you along. All right, what up, you guys? This is my range key. It's got like some sort of magnetic encrypted compiled information on this part right here on how much money is on the key. I actually thought of this idea, but uh, turns out some of you else already made it and did it. But I did think of this, but uh, a little too late, you know what I'm saying? All right, large basket as always. Put the key in here, press the large, and put it back on. And that's how the magic happens. There's my boy Cameron. He's on the back of the range with me. One of the high school friends around here. What's going on, Cameron? What's up, Gabe? Doing a little practicing? Yeah. Okay. Cameron, you know me. I'm a kind of a mellow, calm, young kid. Um, if you could describe me, how would you describe me as? Really uh, kind of bizarre. Bizarre, okay. Like, but, I would... but, you know, has a lot of knowledge in, in kind of a weirdish, but mm. smart way, you know? I actually kind of like that. Would you say I'm amazingly good looking? On a scale of 1 to 10? Um, yes. 1 being the worst, 10 being the best. Dude, I'd, I'd say around 11. <laughs> okay, thank you. 11. Thank you. I, I, it is, would you say I have a well sculpted body as well? I can't answer that question. Okay, good. I hope you couldn't because right <laughs> there, after you said 11, I started to have second <laughs> thoughts about you. Uh, what you working on in your swing, Cameron? Uh, footwork. Footwork, okay. Nice, nice. And uh, what clubs do you play? What clubs are, let me guess, let me ask you this. What clubs are you going to be getting soon? <laughs> he says he's going to be getting some new irons. Uh, some Titleist irons. Titleist. What, which Titleist irons? I don't know yet. Whichever ones are best for my game. Best for your game. Okay. And what driver do you play? Titleist. Titleist. Do you like the Titleist? I love it. Love it? What is it? 910D2. 910D2. Is that the blacked out one? Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay. Let's see. Hit a shot real quick. I'm just gonna see a nice simple little swing. What do you got? Like a little sand wedge? Yeah, 56. 56. I could tell just by looking at it. Right. The eyes of a keen, a keen, experienced, well golf instructor. Not bad. It looks pretty nice. Now, as you can see, Cameron has a uh, what would you call that? Cameron alignment stick. Yeah. On the ground. Where'd you get that at? I found it at this golf course. Actually, years actually, ago. yeah. Let's stop the <laughs> let's stop the tape because I actually think this is mine. It is mine, but okay, I did lose this out here. Cameron picked it up, never told me. Now it's his. Oh, I but I told you last time I saw you. Yeah, well, it was only three months after I had already lost it, so it didn't really matter because I already <laughs> bought some new ones. Got some TaylorMade ones. It's fine, Cameron. If you want to up for a trade, if you want to up for a trade, I'll keep mine. But I will let you guys know where I got that was at Lowe's. Uh, you can probably get a Home Depot Lowe's in the mailbox area. I'm not sure why it's in the mailbox area, but they're great alignment sticks. You'll see a lot of tour players, high school, college kids use them, including myself. Jump subs to keep you aligned, everything square, so you don't have to manipulate or compensate in your swing for bad alignment. So yeah, that's about it, Cameron. Just introducing him. One of the kids back here on the range helps me with my swing. I might help him, you know, mutual friendship, even though he's more of my friend than I am to his. I'm more of a guidance counselor, teacher, instructor. You know, I'm more like his mentor, you know. 
He's my protege. I'm trying to work him up in this world. What's going on, Colton? Taking video? Taking video of you right now. Nice. I have a lot of uh, girl viewers, and I know they're going to want to see your pretty face. You got some serious swag, man. I'm not going to lie. I mainly like your bag, Vintage Cobra. I also like your sunglasses. All right, I'm just gonna record you for the next five minutes. Just act completely natural, pretend like the camera's not even here. I just want you to go through your normal setup and routine, and I'm gonna try to teach my viewers what you're doing. Okay, he's walking, left foot, right foot. Oh, he did a little stutter step. This is what he usually does. He has his bag in his right hand, because he's more right-handed. It weighs more than the balls. He usually likes to go find a decent spot of grass. He likes to start with a hybrid. Not what I would really suggest you do, but he's cold and he does his own thing. Already warmed up, so. He's already warm. He just goes out for the woods. He's, he's for distance, not accuracy, okay? He wants to hit this ball far. He doesn't care about fairway. He just wants to hit it deep no matter where it goes. You know what I'm saying? Clubhead speed is his middle name. I like it. I'm liking it. You like the white? I like the white too. Only if Cameron could get to liking the white. Look at my putter, dude. Let's, let's go look at Cameron's putter over here, okay? Cameron's swinging. This is his bag. He's got a pretty cool putter. We'll show it to you. Scotty Cameron, okay? Scotty Cameron. Uh, I buy Scotty Cameron for Titleist Studio. Select Newport 2. Got about 10 grand weights. Um, Nice Mills face, blacked out dot silver face, and then as you can see, it's a whited out Scotty. It's not bad. Now, Cameron, how did you get this putter whited out? What's that company called? Black Oxide. Black Oxide San Marcos. So if you want your putter whited out, Scotty Cameron, whether it be TaylorMade, Ping, go to Black Oxide and San Marcos. That's a little, little shout out. What up you guys, we're about to go play some golf. Now, you can either do one of two things. You can either continue watching this video or you can leave. But either way, before you leave, I would appreciate it if you would please click on the ad below on this video. By clicking on the ad, you will probably get me around one to three cents per click. By any chance, if you refresh and reload that page, clicking that ad about 66 more times will make me around one dollar to one dollar 20 cents. I'm not a mathematician, but either way, it's about a dollar. Now, as you can see, I'm a slightly skinny kid. I'm trying to make it on tour, and I need some money. So if I, before you go, either you watch or stay, click that ad a few times, I'd really appreciate it. I got my three hybrid right down the middle as the usual. <laughs> Just like butter. All right, you guys, as you can see, it's my ghost cart. I ghost ride the cart, as they say, ghost ride the whip, whatever. Either way, we're gonna play some golf, and obviously I like to help you guys out. And hey, you know what, we're not know-it-alls. If you uh, look at our swing and you wanna point out some pointers to us, I read the comments, I appreciate them all. So yeah, if you see anything we can uh, improve on, let us know. So my boy Colton, all right, he just hit a little hybrid himself. What do you got to the hole, Colton? Um, 172. 172, and what kind of club is that for you? Seven iron. You're downwind, right? Does that influence your club decision? Not, not too much here, no. Not too much. It would for me, but then again, I'm a very detail-oriented person when it comes to playing on the golf course. Seven iron, 172. Downwind. Oh, pulled that left. He's not liking it, but we'll go hit it and find it. All right, I got about 257, uh, three hybrid now. I'm not saying I hit my hybrid that far, but... Um, I probably carry it around 220, so probably literally got 38 yards of roll. That's like my usual, just hit a regular good shot. So my boy Colt's gonna film me. I got 136 to the center. My pitching wedge goes about 140. I'm just gonna hit a nice little knockdown P, try to land at 130. We have from Greens here at Woods Valley. Kind of on some hard pan dirt. As you can see, pins left. I'm just gonna about 10, 15 feet right. I don't want to short side myself. Go through my routine. Visualize it. Feel it. Do it. Me and Colton both pulled it, but we'll go find it. We'll hit it. We'll hit it. We'll find it.
Well, I don't think it's. Yeah, it's recording. Colton for birdies got about 60 feet or so pretty long putt right to left breaker it's trying to come it looks pretty good go 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 not bad two and a half feet short Save for his par <laughs> all right so that's a par all right Colton's just gonna tap in his first his bogey Okay, Cole, now as you can see, he just teed off with his three hybrid on the last hole. And then we're on a par five. Um, Colton, why are you teeing off with the hybrid again? Because uh, I can't hit my driver straight. So you can't hit his driver. Hey, that's a great strategic play. If you're not hitting driver straight, hit a lesser club. You got three shots to get to the hole. No reason you can't hit your hybrid on the par five. Nice shot there. You set up a little left, but it started left. A nice little fade. That'll work. All right, hit that good right down the middle. Colton with five wood. And that'll work. swear my channel Colton. <laughs> Alright Colton 90 yards here at this gap wedge. Nice. Oh wow it's going right at the pin. Be good. Oh oh my gosh almost landed in the hole. Nice shot man. So this is Gabe where he hit a three wood short right of the green at 35 yards from the pin here. Take it. Gabe for the tap and for birdie. Alright, that's easy par five. Alright you guys, here we're on the par three at Woods Valley goes par four, par five, par three. Now if you could pan over to the green and just try to glance it's over water and the pin's front and right. That's kind of like a sucker pin. Basically, what a sucker pin is, is if you hit it the, if you try to go right at the pin, you don't just perfectly hit it. You're gonna bring bogey or even double into play since there's water. I mean, I could hit this ball literally 15 feet short of the pin, which would be a good shot from about 160, and I'd be in the water and I'd most likely make double from dropping back here. So, I'm gonna take a club, middle of the green or even long's okay. I'll have plenty of green to work with. I'm gonna take my eight iron, play slightly downhill. So, it should be a good club to where even if I miss hit it, that'll be long. So, I take double out of play. And if anything, I'll make bogey at the maximum worst. And if anything, a nice easy par. So, I'm just going to play nice to the middle of the green here. Alright, not bad. Should just be long right, just like I wanted. Okay, here's Cole and eight iron as well. Just want to take a nice little smooth swing. We kind of hit slightly into the breeze, so I just want to focus on good contact and a penetrating ball flight. Not bad. He basically hit that right where it's aimed. And if you guys notice, he's been setting up left. And Colton has been wanting to play a draw, so we'll show him this videotape and show him how he's always aiming left of the target, which isn't going to be good if you want to play a draw, so not a bad shot overall though. Alright, what up you guys? Here's my ball. Ball, wind actually kind of got him about, I don't know, 8 yards off the green, 20 yards from the pin. Not a great shot, but I'm going to try to film it one-handed, so I have my right hand on, my left hand holding the video camera, and I'll just try to, nice little release of the right hand and just, I don't know, I don't think it should be that hard got a good amount of green to work with so we'll see what happens
Uh, not too bad. It's like six feet. Let's see if we can make it. All right, Colton, got another long putt here, about 60 feet again. I mean, greens and regulations aren't bad. This is gonna be a hard putt to get the pace, huh? See what he can do. All right, so about 60 feet, left it about eight, nine feet away. All right, Colton uses Scotty, what kind of putter is that? Scotty Cameron. Oh, it's Scotty Cameron, nice. Oh man, nice putt. Good good two putt there. Alright, that's a bogey, it happens, so gotta work on the other side. <laughs> what the? Did you get that on tape? Yeah. Oh man, we're gonna have to edit that out. Oh, you know what? <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> All right, you guys, I think that's all we have enough time to record. Uh, video cameras running out, so I mean, just stick with it. I mean, I haven't these first three holes, I think I had a pitching wedge like 15 yards away from the pin, not a good shot. Uh, the second hole, you know, but I, but I just stayed with it, didn't get mad at myself, made a nice, cool par. Second hole birdied, and then the third hole, you know, missed my uh, par putt. So it happens, just stick with it, don't get too frustrated, just stay patient. A lot more holes to go, so. I'll talk to you guys later. This is Gabriel Wright of PJ Tour Driven. Here's from TVD signing out. Thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks to all my friends, supporters. Hit me up on Facebook, and I'll talk to you soon.